Hey listeners! Today we are going to listen to the story Whistle for Willie by Ezra Jack Keats. Today's story is written by Ezra Jack Keats, and he's the author and illustrator. Let's go ahead and read a little bit more. Ezra Jack Keats wrote and illustrated books for children. When Mr. Keats was a boy, he drew pictures on the kitchen table. His mother was so proud, she cut the art rather than wash the table. Today, boys and girls, the genre is realistic fiction. And realistic fiction is a story that could happen in real life. So as you read, look for events that could really happen and characters who do things real people and animals would do. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle! He saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy whistled, the dog ran straight to him. Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead, he began to turn himself around. Around and around he whirled, faster and faster. When he stopped, everything turned down and up and up and down and around and around. Peter saw his dog, Willie, coming. Quick as a wink, he hid in an empty carton lying on the sidewalk. Wouldn't it be funny if I whistled? Peter thought. Willie would stop and look all around to see who it was. Peter tried again to whistle, but still he couldn't. So Willie just walked on. Peter got out of the carton and started home. On the way, he took some colored chalks out of his pocket and drew a long, long line right up to his door. He stood there and tried to whistle again. He blew till his cheeks were tired, but nothing happened. He stood there and tried to whistle again. He blew till his cheeks were tired, but nothing happened. He went into his house and put on his father's old hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. Still no whistle! When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother answered, Why, no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go out and look for him then, said Peter. First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk. Then, he tried to run away from his shadow. He jumped off his shadow. But when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where the carton was, and who should he see but Willie? Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and blew. Suddenly, out came a whistle. Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was. It's me, Peter shouted and stood up. Willie raced straight to him. Peter ran home to show his father and mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling. So did Willie. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there, and he whistled all the way home. The end. Thanks for listening.